I'm only gonna show you because it's just the two of us right now. I actually cut my jeans because I'm getting a dad bod and I had to cut them because my hips are getting wider with uh, IPA. It's an issue. This guy needs to grow a pair and just like move so we can get going. This guy's just like, I don't know. Oh, we got another car. Today we're in North Park. I don't know if you can tell, there's that giant sign behind me. You might also see all the graffiti on the walls or all those people back there that are drinking at noon. Well, that's North Park. And today we're gonna check out three historic homes that we just put on the market. We're gonna check out three buildings that are the most important buildings in all of North Park's history. It's gonna be pretty fun. We might get some ice cream. So Holy Matcha is actually founded by a friend of mine. I met her at a social media event and she created this place with the idea that if she created an Instagram wall where people wanted to come and take photos and videos that were Instagram worthy, she could sell just about anything inside of here and they would be a success. And what's interesting is it's exactly what happened because people from all over San Diego, Orange County and LA flock to Holy Matcha in North Park just for the hope of taking a photo. Now we're gonna go check out some other spots in North Park, but first, one last bite. So right now we're gonna drive over and check out a few properties that we have. You know, this month has been unbelievable because we're picking up little Spanish houses and craftsmen's and new builds all over North Park and South Park. This is almost, it feels like the heyday for this city. And we got a brand new one on 32nd Street that is a historic home about 100 years old. It's cute as a button. It is Spanish colonial revival. And then we got another property that we're about to put on the market no one knows is for sale yet. Though it's two bedrooms and two bathrooms, it's everything you would want in a little craftsman. What's crazy about San Diego is we're a baby. And really, it wasn't until the end of World War II when California exploded with wealth and all these soldiers coming back from Europe after we won World War II. By the way, we won World War II. Uh, that's two world wars in a row. Just, it's not a big deal. I mean, you don't need to brag, but you know, it's a big deal. But when we came back from World War II, there was all this money and all these people, but they didn't want to go back to Wisconsin. They didn't want to go back to Illinois. They didn't want to go back to Ohio where they grew up. They want to go to California. And so places like the Lafayette Hotel, right in the middle of what now is North Park, Ava Gardner, Bob Hope, John F. Kennedy, all these incredibly famous American icons made this place home. You know, one of the things about North Park that was crazy to me is like, as I'm kind of re-loving and re-learning the North Park sign, the murals, Holy Matcha, old hotel at the Lafayette, it's hard to sort of describe what it is to an outsider, but it's really easy to tell you all the things it's not. It's not a subdivision with sidewalks and houses that all look the same. It's not a beach community with people in flip-flops and board shorts. It's none of those things. It's, it's murals. It's that guy. It's the inner city transit bus system right next to people driving down the street and convertibles going to happy hour. It's all these eclectic things. I mean, it's the reason I love it so much. And if you don't love it, I think people in North Park would say, it's okay that you don't love it. You don't have to live here. And honestly, you're probably not cool enough. That's North Park.